After taking a lot of criticism for bringing a babysitter to her CNN interview, which is happening tonight and is probably currently being edited to try and make the word salads make sense, Kamala Harris is trying to save face just a little bit. Now, before we get into the story, I do want to ask for your help. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the time I turn 40 in the beginning of December, and that means I need you to share this video out, click the like button, leave your comments, and subscribe to the channel. You know, all of the things that boost me in the algorithm that is absolutely terrible to ask for, but absolutely does help the channel out. From Breitbart News, Kamala Harris' campaign response to backlash promises solo interview on mystery date. Maybe it'll be September 10th, so she has an excuse to back out of the debate with Donald Trump, because everybody knows she can't put the vodka bottle down long enough to hold her own off script. Vice President Kamala Harris will give a solo interview on an unspecified date. The Harris campaign promised Thursday following severe backlash regarding Governor Tim Walz joining Harris in Thursday's pre-recorded and heavily edited interview on CNN. I don't know how heavily ed edited it is because as of now, it has not gone public yet, but I'm just assuming that that's going to be the case. Critics claim Harris agreed to do her first interview with Walls to reduce the time she will have to speak during the one-hour question and answer session with CNN's day. Dana Bash, or Dana Bash. Uh, critics also raised concerns that CNN could edit the pre-taped interview to fix any gaffes or mistakes Harris might commit, as the network has known bias or has a known bias against former President Donald Trump. LOL, Kamala can't even do an edited softball CNN interview without backup. The popular conservative X handle Cat Turd Two posted, "The entire interview needs to be released unedited," uh, insisted communications guru Steve Guest. Political Playbook reported the Harris campaign's pledge for a solo interview at a mystery date. After several Republican and conservative media personalities criticized Harris yesterday for sitting down with Walls as a security blanket, the Harris-Walls campaign last night provided a list of joint interviews conducted by every major party presidential ticket since 2024. Though a senior, Demo or a senior campaign official also made the important stipulation that obviously she will do solo interviews too over the course of the campaign. This is very, very good. For the first time that I can remember Ever. Republicans are finally putting the Democrats on defense. Good. Take the battle to them. Make them have to defend themselves. Don't be constantly playing defense. We're finally able to go on the offensive, and it's working, and it's working really well. This is a good move, and this is a good result. Uh, Harris has not held an unscripted press conference, unscripted sit-down, or non-pre-recorded interview about policy solutions for 39 days since joining the presidential race. The media have not interviewed Harris on television since June 24, 2024, and the last time the press reportedly questioned her at a solo news conference was eight months ago on December 2, 2023. Since the vice president joined the race, she has delivered a number of unscripted word salads in casual remarks. She rambled about the duality of the nature of democracy and struggled to deliver clear and concise answers about her economic policy during one brief gaggle. She used the phrase return on investment four times to just justify taxpayer spending on Soviet-style policies, you will be undefeated even if you don't win every time, she told a Pennsylvania football team. Harris was deliver or has delivered many gaffes and word salads during her career, and of course they link to a sampling which we're not going to listen to. This is actually looking very, very good, and it means that the lack of a convention bump combined with her inability to show up publicly means that the public is starting to see through the charade. And it might be good for America going forward because it really is indicating that she could be so unpopular that they have no choice but to let her lose. Till next time, thanks for watching.